All right, guys, let's get into it. This story here we're going to be talking about hits pretty close to home for me because this actually happened about 15 minutes away from where I actually live. Pasadena, Texas, suburb suburb of um, Houston is where a little girl lost her life. She lost her life to an illegal alien who came into this country because Joe Biden supports open borders. And now a little 11 year old girl lost her life. Joe Biden has blood on his hands. It's disgusting, guys, that the Democrats believe that a border wall is racist. There is a border because without a border, you don't have a country. But the Democrats, man, they truly do want illegals coming in. Make no mistake about it, guys. There is a reason why leftists do not want you to see sound of freedom. Because that border is wide open. There's a bunch of trafficking, fentanyl coming across the border. But Democrats are okay with that. And you know what, guys? There's people that will still go out there and vote for Democrats, even though they're witnessing the destruction of their own country. They're Texans at the border. Their property is being destroyed by illegals crossing the border. Now, this one particular illegal that crossed the border. It has turned deadly now. Look at this, guys. Illegal immigrant arrested in brutal rape and murder. Of 11 year old girl in Texas. This happened in Pasadena, Texas, man. I drive by Pasadena pretty much every Saturday. I cross over into Deer Park. Pasadena's right there as well. And this really, really hits close to home. Now, Pasadena is majority Hispanic. And from what I actually understand about um, Pasadena, that's quite a few illegals over there. Now, it's been an open secret, guys, that in Houston, there is a bunch of illegals. That's just the way it is. But it shouldn't be like that. If you actually enforce border policy, this would have never happened. But Joe Biden is perfectly OK with open borders. Democrats perfectly OK with open borders. And how do people in um, Houston vote? They vote for Democrats. Let's read this, guys, because we're going to be jumping in over to uh, KPRC, the local Houston affiliate of um, NBC, because they don't actually call this guy an illegal alien. But let's read this here. It says here on the Post Millennial, an illegal immigrant from Guatemala has been arrested and charged for the murder of an 11 year old Texas girl who was found dead in her home last week. Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez, 18, was arrested in Louisiana on Saturday by the Shreveport Police Department. Rodriguez has been charged with capital murder and is waiting to be extradited back to Texas, according to KHOU. That's a Houston affiliate out here. The victim, Maria Gonzalez, was found dead by her father, Carmelo Gonzalez on August 12th. Man, that is horrific, man. The father finds his little girl deceased. Her body was hidden in a laundry bag, hidden beneath her bed. Maria was also reportedly sexually assaulted by Rodriguez. Yeah, this is sad, man. And this little girl was left home by herself. I would not be leaving an 11 year old girl. At home by herself. I would not be doing that. I don't know what other kind of family they actually have out here. I have no idea. Uh, Quote, this arrest has brought the family and community some peace. The Gonzalez family said in a statement, according to KHOU. Uh, Quote, we are extremely thankful that he cannot cause this type of pain to anybody again. The family said. I ask for those who are in charge to give us justice May he be burdened with the full with with the full with the I think they meant the full extent of law right there uh, for what he has done to my daughter. 
According to the police, Garcia Rodriguez lived at the same apartment complex as the Gonzalez family. Officers located a key at the crime scene, which they believe is evidence that belongs to the suspect, whose DNA was swabbed at the scene. On Monday, police interviewed Rodriguez, but he immediately vanished and informed his roommate he was leaving town for a job. Yeah, this man knew he was busted. That's why he ran. Ran all the way to Shreveport, Louisiana. That's a pretty far distance right there. Garcia Rodriguez. Now check this out. Had illegally entered the U.S., the United States, through El Paso in January. Remember, guys, there is an emergency over there of illegals crossing into El Paso. El Paso, run by Democrats, by the way. That's Beto country over there. Beto. So this killer entered through El Paso in January, but had been granted release upon arrival due to having a sponsor located in Louisiana after he turned himself into authority. See, see guys, that's that's the fits right there. He entered the country illegally, but since somebody so say sponsored him, he was able to break the law, come into the country, not vetted at all, obviously. And now he is killed a little girl. This is disgusting, man. This is on Joe Biden, man. This is on Joe Biden, Democrats and anybody else that does not want to secure our border. Maria had moved to the United States with her father four years prior and had only been living in the complex for three months when she was killed. May she actually rest in peace, man. This guy, this scumbag. Uh, what's his name, by the way? Whatever his name is. Rodriguez. Juan Carlos. Yeah. Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez. He should get the death penalty. He should get the death penalty, in my opinion. Out here in Texas, man, Huntsville. Pretty close. Huntsville is only like an hour away. A little over an hour away, man. That's where the death house is. That is where he needs to be. Once the um, the criminal process is actually completed, send him to Huntsville. Lethal injection, man. But look here. This is KPRC right here. Now, KPRC actually has comment sections over here. So this is um, Juan Carlos right there. This is him. Scumbag right there. And they talk about. Him getting arrested. But however, no mention of him actually being in the country illegally. This is a problem, man. Criminals are coming across the border, man. That's why we need Trump, man, back in office. If Trump was in office, the chances of this actually happening would be greatly diminished. Because I don't believe this guy would be crossing over into this country illegally. And there is thousands upon thousands of illegals. Crossing into El Paso. But you Democrats over there in El Paso voted for this. You people voted for Joe Biden. You did that. Hopefully you learn your lesson. Come 2024. Because not only is the blood on Joe Biden's hands. But to you people also in El Paso that voted for this. If you voted for Joe Biden man. You pretty much. Got this got this little girl killed. I'm just calling it what it is right here. But the reason I'm actually bringing up KPRC right here, I watched them in the morning because I want to see what kind of craziness they're talking about. Also, you know, local weather. OK, but right here, I do have an account with them. John Matrix right here. That's me. And I made a comment here. Like a day ago. Look here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I actually wrote, I'm the only one that can see this now. I put, said KPRC, he was here illegally. He is an illegal alien. And guess what they did? They deactivated my comment. Right here it says con content deactivated. Why? And we know why. They said your, your comment appears to violate our community guidelines and has been deactivated. Why? Because I called an illegal alien 
an illegal alien. It seems like, you know, they're trying to protect this criminal right here. These scumbags, man, don't deserve protection. He is an illegal alien. That is a legal term. And this man should be sent to the death house for what he actually did to this 11 year old girl. Shame on you, KPRC. Shame on you. And shame on anybody that supports open borders because open borders got this little girl killed. Shame on you, Joe Biden. Shame on you, Democrats. Shame on anyone that supports this. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.